All right, hello everyone and welcome to another edition of The Daily Crow. Hi, I'm Chris Phillips of the Spurs Up Show coming to you live. Going to continue the positioning and preview series. Talk about the Gamecocks linebackers heading into the 2019 season. Before we do that, this is a broadcast to you by our friends over at SeatGeek. SeatGeek, the best ticket buying app by far, the only one that I use and the only one that I recommend. Obviously, Gamecocks football season just 17 days away now. You guys are going to need your tickets. Why not go through SeatGeek? Go download the SeatGeek app or go to SeatGeek.com. Use the promo code Spurs Up. You're actually going to save $10 off your first purchase. So no matter what game, if you're going to Charlotte, the home over against Charleston Southern, Alabama, you want to get tickets to the Clemson game, doesn't matter which one. If you're getting your tickets, go through SeatGeek. Also, any other sporting events you're going to, NFL, NBA, NHL, they've got MLB, they've got it there for you. Concerts, comedy club events as well. It doesn't have to be sports. They've got tickets to literally anything and everything you need. They've got a great ticket rating system where they rate the tickets for you based on the type of deal you're getting as well. So they really give you that peace of mind before you click the buy button to know that you're getting the best bang for your buck. You're getting the best tickets for the price you're paying for. So again, that's our friends over at SeatGeek. Go download the SeatGeek app or go to SeatGeek.com. Use the promo code SPURSUP. That's S-P-U-R-S-U-P at checkout to save $10 off your first purchase. All right, like I said, we want to talk about the Gamecocks linebackers heading into 2019. I think this is a position that everyone's got their eye on as we get, get closer and closer to the season. And once the season starts, everyone's going to be watching this position very closely because of how they performed last season. Looking back at last season, 2018, the linebackers were definitely a weakness for the Gamecocks. There's really no other way to put it. The linebackers, extremely inconsistent. A lot of guys had missed assignments. Obviously, TJ Brunson was a guy I do want to highlight because last year was the first season the Gamecocks did not have Sky Moore. I thought he filled in that role very well. He was the leading tackler for South Carolina, had 106 tackles, six tackles for loss, four and a half sacks. So he filled in nicely outside of him, though. A lot of inconsistency, lack of depth really hurt that unit. But inconsistency, inconsistency as well from the guys that played. Again, just too many missed assignments, too many missed tackles. One of the reasons the Gamecocks weren't tough against the run game, I felt, I felt like a year ago, they weren't great in coverage either. So overall, a year, there's going to be a lot to prove for this unit overall. Uh, let's meet the linebackers heading into 2019. Senior TJ Brunson, junior Sherrod Green, junior Damani Staley, senior Eldridge Thompson, sophomore Sean McGonigal, sophomore Ernest Jones, freshman Derek Boykin, sophomore Rosendo Lewis, freshman Jamar Brown, junior Spencer Easton Riddle, and redshirt freshman Noah Vincent. Uh, most approved for me. So I went kind of back and forth on this one. Should it be one of the young guys, an older guy? I landed on junior Sherrod Green. And the reason to me is that Sherrod Green is a guy, listen, Sherrod Green's a guy that's going to play. And I think will probably start for South Carolina. He's a guy that obviously has got talent. He's got athleticism. He's got a skill set to be successful. But he had a rough season a year ago. There is no way to sugarcoat it. He had a bad year. Obviously, his highlight came last year against Missouri where he had the pick six, Drew Locke on the screen pass, basically threw it right to him. He took it to the house. It was a huge play in that game. But overall for him, it was a very, very rough season. Sherrod Green is a guy to me that just needs to be better playing in space, playing his assignments. He really had times where he looked lost a season ago. And he's too good of a player to do that. And South Carolina needs it to be a good player too badly for him to be that inconsistent for the Gamecocks. So to me, Sherrod Green is a guy – that does have the most to prove. Can he complement T.J. Brunson in, in that linebacking core? Can he be a guy the Gamecocks can depend on? Because, again, he's an older guy, too. And as an older guy, there really is no excuse to have the missed assignments and to be looking lost on the field. Like You should be the guy leading these younger guys, bringing them along, making plays. It's time for Sherrod Green to make some plays, and the Gamecocks need him to do that in 2019. Best overall, no surprise here, at senior T.J. Brunson. He's the captain of the defense. Again, I talked about how he filled in for Sky Moore last year. Thought he did a really good job. I certainly do think he can get better, um, but over 100 tackles. I mean, he had a really good season. Um, again, I expect him to lead South Carolina in tackles. Again, he really has a knack for the ball, I feel like, going where the ball is. A guy who was Will Muschamp's first recruit that he signed, I believe, at South Carolina, maybe the first one he visited, but has just been great for, great for Carolina. And I, I think we'll have a good senior season. He's a guy that uh, I think maybe he's being slept on a little bit, not being talked about a bunch in any of the preseason magazines or – uh, what have you. But uh, senior T.J. Brunson, no doubt the best overall player amongst the Gamecocks linebacking core and one of the best on the Gamecocks defense, in my opinion. Expect him to have a big year in 2019. To me, the season will be successful if just more overall consistency. I mean, I, I really don't have a stat to throw out there that if this happens, this unit will have played much, much better than they did a year ago. But this unit's just got to be more consistent, man. I mean, it, it just too many times last year, again, where guys are getting lost in space not covering their man, not filling in the right gaps and run control or run schemes, if you will. 
you just need more consistency overall. I think this unit will be able to have that. Um, you've got some young guys, I think, that are going to step up and play and be really good for South Carolina. But it's these older guys, too. I mean, you think of, again, Brunson being a senior, Sherrod Green being a junior, Eldridge Thompson being a senior. These older guys need to step up, have their best years in Garnet and Black. There's no question. So being more consistent overall to me, the season will be successful if they can do simply that. Uh, overall grade for the unit, I'm going to give them a C overall. I, I'll be honest with you, I was close to giving them a C-. minus. But with having T.J. Brunson, again, to me, he is one of the be better linebackers in the SEC, the best player in that linebacking core for South Carolina, no question. But I think he's one of the better players in the SEC that's not talked about. But you look at guys for South Carolina. I think the younger guys, there's definitely reason to be, reasons to be excited. Ernest Jones should be a guy. He's a guy that's been talked about a bunch during fall camp and is a guy that really should make a big impact for Carolina this year. Freshman Derek Boykins is someone we've heard rave reviews about. I'm really intrigued to see a guy like Rosendo Lewis. I mean, he's a guy, listen, this is a guy that was a really highly touted recruit. Well, all we heard about him coming in was he's a thumper. He's a guy that's going to go up and hit you, hit you in the mouth. Can he kind of break out and find a role in the defense? I know as a freshman, he played very, very sporadically. But can he, how much has he developed? Rosendo Lewis, to me, is a guy that needs to come on and have a good year. Jamar Brown is someone we've heard, we've heard some things about as a true freshman. Can he have a little bit of an impact? Eldridge Thompson already talked about needs to have his best season in Garnet and Black. Obviously, he got approved for the uh, for the waiver to play this year. He's got to have his best year in Garnet and Black. Obviously, uh, T.J. Brunson, again, leading this unit. Sherrod Green, I talked about. Damani Staley, can he make an impact for the Gamecocks, have a bigger role than he had a year ago? So, again, there are bodies there. I think there are guys, there are enough guys to at least make this unit decent. You know, make, make them decent. So, it's just all about executing the little things. Again, being more consistent getting to the football, playing their assignments. I think there are the bodies and guys who can do it, especially the young guys, really excited about them. But I think there's a good mix of young and old where this group can at least be an adequate part of the defense. I think if you look at the Gamecocks defense right now, the linebacking core is the one part that you, you have major questions about. I think they have enough guys to where they can be adequate. Let's put it that way. So that's going to do it for me. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Going to talk about the Gamecocks Bucks on Friday. We'll continue the positioning to preview series. If you haven't done so, check out the interview with Ace Sanders, the Spurs Up Show episode 120 that dropped on Monday. Fantastic interview. Definitely one of the all-time episodes. Uh, we'll have a new show obviously dropping tomorrow, which I'll let you guys know who the guest is later today. If you haven't done so, check out the Twitch streams as well. And for those of you that don't know, basically it's video game streaming. We are doing uh, basically simulating the 2019 season, so it's a complete simulation. Computers playing the game. I'm kind of commentating. It's a really good time, though. If you haven't uh, tuned in, be sure to tune into that. We'll be going live tonight at 7 o'clock. South Carolina, Alabama. Gamecocks right now are 2-0, and facing the Alabama Crimson Tide. Should be a really fun one. I think a lot of people would just be intrigued to watch that one again as we slowly, it feels like, taking forever, count down the days of kickoff. Only 17 days away. But appreciate you guys tuning in. Talk to you soon.